Hi, this is Kerry from FreeAudacityTutorials.com, and I am going to attempt to show you how to upgrade to Audacity 2.0.3. This is January of 2013, so this is the most recent version for now. So you have gone to audacity.sourceforge.net right here. That is where you'll find it. Here it is. Download Audacity 2.0.3. I'm going to save the file, and... I am going to hit save and it's going to ask me if I want to replace because yes, I did already download it. So I'm using Firefox here. You can see it downloading. Now, once that's downloaded, I am going to have to uh, just plain old install it like normal. But what I wanted to do this tutorial for is because in the new version of Audacity 2.0.3, a lot of the plugins that I already had are not there. They're missing. So I'm going to show you how to install the new version and then how to get your plugins from your old version into the new version. Um, so first I got to get this thing downloaded and it's going pretty quick. Okay, so it's downloaded. I'm going to double click on it. It's going to ask me to run. I'll say yes. Yes. And then English is fine. Welcome to the setup wizard. Next, next. And then right here when it gets to select destination location, you need to look at two things. First of all, see where Audacity normally installs. The C drive, program files, x86, Audacity. Okay, you need to remember that because that's where your plugins are right now. I think if I were to install this in that place right now, it would overwrite or even, or, or at least side by side, put this new version of Audacity with the old version. But just so I don't take a chance and lose those plugins, I am going to change this destination to Audacity 1. So it's going to create a new folder, Audacity 1. That way I'll know my new version is in Audacity 1, my old version is in Audacity. So I'm going to say next, I'm going to say yes, create a desktop icon is fine, and then install. Here it goes. Okay, there it is. Next, launch Audacity. Okay, and my version of Audacity is open, and I open up Effect, and look here. It only has a few, okay, compared to all the others I used to have. So what I'm going to do to change that is, first of all, I'm going to close Audacity. Next, I'm going to go into my program, my computer. I'm going to go into the C drive. Remember where we looked, Program Files, x86. And I'm going to go to not the Audacity 1 that I just installed, but the Audacity folder. And then you see inside here is one called Plugins. I'm going to open that up. And all of these with the DLL extension are the plugins. So I'm going to highlight the first, hold down Shift in my down arrow key, and it's going to select all of those. Okay. And then I'm going to right click, copy, and I'm not going to do cut. I'm going to do copy. I'm going to go back to my program files, x86, Audacity 1, open plugins, and then right here, right click, paste. And yes, I'm going to give it permission. It's going to paste all of those in there. Okay, and now I'm going to reopen Audacity. And you will see all of my plugins are there. Okay, that's pretty simple. Now, if you have any of these plugins that you don't have, uh, contact me through the website, freeaudacitytutorials.com, and I will see what I can do about setting up a plugins page on my website where I can put these files for people to download if you need them. I've had requests for some of that in the, in the past. So that's it. Uh, Audacity 2.0.3 is installed, ready to go with all my old plugins. Hey, thanks for watching. This is Kerry from freeaudacitytutorial.com. Check out all my services there. I do podcast cover art and website headers. I as well do podcast consulting. Thanks.